Amber Heard may be jailed in Australia if she ever plans on setting foot in the country again. In 2015, the actress went to Australia and illegally smuggled her and Johnny Depp's two dogs, Pistol and Boo. They went overseas without the right papers and even skipped the required 10-day quarantine for the dogs. They wouldn't have been caught if the dogs' groomers didn't post pictures online about their surprise visit. The couple received massive backlash and Amber had to pay thousands of dollars for breaking Australia's biosecurity laws. That's only a small punishment. If you ask us, the government realized years later that she had made a more grave mistake than bringing her dog to Australia. In 2021, the actress was investigated for perjury because she obviously lied about the reason why they brought the dog there to receive a smaller punishment. Let's be clear, this investigation is only about Amber Heard. It doesn't include Johnny Depp from any angle. The actor told her not to bring the dogs, but she still did. She made that decision all on her own and she decided to falsely fill out the paperwork, failing to declare the dogs. This is all on her and only her. Those in the highest position of power in the country of Australia feel no remorse in talking about Amber and her big mistake in their country. Those dogs, when I came in, there were a lot of documents that were signed that said there were no animals there and now it looks like Ms. Heard has not been, well, alleged, not been telling the truth and that's perjury and, you know, they want Julian Assange. Well, we'll take Amber and possibly Johnny, and they can come over to Australia and spend some time at Her Majesty's Majesty. They're so comfortable talking about this that they even insert a few jokes here and there. This made the situation lighter, but it also made us viewers realize what a massive mistake the actress made before. She may face 14 years in jail for the crime she did, and now they're planning to make it a tad bit longer. Barnaby Joyce, an Australian politician who led the dog smuggling case in 2015, was interviewed recently since the Amber Heard case was brought into light once again. According to him, they can extradite this if they wanted to. When they say oh, they wouldn't extradite them if they perjured themselves, well, they put at risk our biosecurity. We had a big issue right now with foot and mouth. That comes into Australia. Beef industry decimated. So, uh, you know, when they say things like that, oh, but we'd never do that for this. Well, what would you do if He says that it's up to the Americans what they want to do with Amber Heard, but if they want it to be like Julian Assange, it can be like that too. I mean, isn't that what they want? The jury unanimously decided that she's guilty and the internet is against her whole being. They wanted to be extradited. That means that any person who committed a crime in Australia should go back to Australia and serve their time. They're probably waiting for the actress to come back, don't you think? Well, it's fair enough that um, any person who's purged themselves, committed a crime in Australia, should go back to Australia to serve their time because we've got to be fair dinkum and straight with both these things, don't we? I mean, let's let's see how that... Barnaby Joyce is taking this personally too, especially after that mockery Amber did. It'll flip the script and help his image out as a politician after Amber ridiculed him. Years after this drama, she got a new dog and named it after him. Imagine, they basically let her go free after she went against the country's biosecurity laws just because she was stubborn. They gave her the smallest punishments and the lightest sentences, yet she mocked the man who led her case. The fact that Amber Heard named her new dog Barnaby Joyce shows what kind of toxic person she is. The audacity. He also joked that they would make the trial public so that they'll get higher TV ratings, but we're kind of sensing that that's not a joke at all. You saw how powerful the live Virginia defamation trial was. The internet is siding with them as they hope that the trial would actually happen in Australia because she needs to experience the consequences of her acts. She definitely does. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.